Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are looking at something that is pretty nice. I know for sure that most of you guys are expecting this to be Free Friday, but it's not. Free Friday is definitely going to be coming, but today we are looking at the Base Mesh. So the Base Mesh is a brand new website that offers 250 plus Base Meshes and it is crazy. The beautiful thing about this one is you're definitely going to be getting an FBX and an OBJ file to any of the files that you'll be downloading and as well a simple render of what you will be downloading. All of the things you'll be getting here are CC0 which means you can use them 100% for free for anything that you want. You want to do games, movies, some animation or maybe you just want to do that very cool render then you can pick this up and start working with it 100%. So for those who like to get this you can simply come over to the link in the description and grab this for yourself. It is also worth mentioning that every model that you have right here is modeled to reward scale and it comes with basic UVs which means you don't necessarily need to start doing UVs for this as you can simply just pick it up and texture and start working with it. And to check out some of the things that you have here if you go over to where we have the model library, you would see lots of things. It's just crazy the amount of things you'll be getting here. So let's just simply scroll through. And, you know, for those who are thinking about what and what do they have, there's a couple of things you'll find here. So there's just a lot. I think you might definitely find this one interesting. If you go over to the accessories, there's a couple of cool accessories, clothing accessories to be precise, that you will find. So we have a bow tie right there. We have some clipping stuff. We have some foam fingers, some key stuff, you know, you definitely find some stuff like the watch and all that. These are pretty nice. You go over to the architectural part, you would also find some architectural stuff. So you're looking for bricks, you want to work with some pillars, you want to work with some, you know, some chimney stuff, you find them there. There's also some home one, you know, all of this are properly categorized in a wonderful way that just makes sense. So within the home section, you find some very cool, you know, home-like stuff just happening. You'd also find some instruments, you find some miscellaneous stuff, some office stuff, some outdoor stuff, some sport tools, and also weapons. So it simply makes sense that if you are into animation, games, or maybe you're just into making renders, that this is a cool website that you might just want to consider checking out. Now, some of the things you guys might be asking, which I know a lot of you guys are already asking by now, is what is the topology like? So the first thing you would notice if you download this is once you download the model, it comes as a zip file. And once you double click to open up that zip file, you would find, like I mentioned earlier, three different files. We have the FBX, the OBJ, and a PNG render that shows you what you downloaded. And in this case, we're looking at the guitar. So if you also open up the acoustic guitar, you can load this up in, in any DCC app of choice. So let's see what it looks like if you open this up in Blender. So we'll go over to import, go over to FBX, and I'm just going to double click right here. Let me just bring this right here so you guys can see. And select the acoustic guitar and click on the word import. And that way we can import it. Okay, so you can see this bad boy. All right, looking pretty. And we can also do the very same thing. So I can go over to import and import an OBJ. So in this case, let's also import an OBJ at this point. So I'm just going to go over to that part and let's import that OBJ. So I'm just going to move all the way upwards and get the acoustic guitar stand. So I'm just going to get this one in. And of course, you can see that. And I'm just tapping G on the keyboard to move this right about this point. R to position this bad boy right there and we'll throw in a tiny little floor. Actually, I think we should also just raise this all the way up. So just go in there, tap E all the way there and we'll tap 2 on the keyboard, bevel this bad boy, roll that beam a little bit and you are good to go. So once you have this going, let's subdivide this a little bit and probably just scale it up. All right, so once you have this going, you can now start making that cool render that you've always wanted. So just a couple of clicks and you are good to go. You're ready to start making some amazing stuff. And like I mentioned earlier, these don't have textures, okay? There is no texture to this. If you just simply switch over, you just see like a bunch of lights firing right into your eyes. And I'm really sorry about the lights, just in case you're watching this in the dark and the lights are all over your face. Really sorry about that. So 
I'm just going to go in and turn this all the way down. And potentially we can also add a brand new material to this, or we can simply work with the material that we have. So let's see. All right. So, oh, we have some materials here already. So I can throw in that there. And for this, we can throw in a little bit of brown, maybe a little bit of brown, something like that. Okay. So this way, you can go ahead and start working with it. Select the object if you like to do, or you know, you can select this other one. If you like to see what the UVs look like, press the tab key, switch this over to your UV editor, and you have it. The UVs look nice. I mean, it's not the best, but it gets the job done. And this is also similar to those who like to work with it in Maya. So if you're also thinking about working with any of the things in Maya, of course you can. So let's just go ahead and fire up Maya. Let's turn on that grid so we know where things are. So turn on the grid. And uh, there's this cool feature that Maya has. And I can't wait to see it in Blender. And I'm definitely going to talk to you guys about it. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it, but let's see how that comes in. So that feature is something everybody knows, okay? It's the click and drag feature. So I really wish we can have this click and drag feature, you know, come over to Blender anytime soon. So once you have this here, we can scale this up. And I mean, you can see the wireframe doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad at all. I mean, just take a look at this. It doesn't look bad at all. And to see that this is a well UV model, it's just super nice. So with this model selected, we can jump over to the UVs and you can see it. An automatic UV makes a lot of sense in this case. And if you would like to maybe edit this UV yourself, tweak it, push it here and there, break some things, fix some things, you can of course go ahead and do all of these things. A huge shout out to the creator for making these amazing stuff available. And for those who like to pick it up, you like to work with it, you want to see some things that just works go ahead grab this 250 plus meshes which you can totally pick up for free and start creating amazing things and of course if you like to support the creator he does have a donate button right here where you can donate and you can also follow him on patreon or buy him a little coffee and see how he expands this so this is more like it for those who like to get this links to this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out and of course, tell me what you guys think about this one. And until I see you in the next one, peace.